what's going on guys welcome to the video so we will be reinstalling the camshaft and torquing on the camshaft holders and um, if this video is not too long I guess I'll just go ahead and do the timing but uh, let me show you guys what I'm doing first so I'm gonna grab the lost motion assemblies one two three four five six seven eight I'm gonna reinstall those um, I have to find my assembly lube as well I think I know where it is and um, grab the lower cam cap holders and grab the cams and grab the top holders and install those. Uh, a tip that I got from someone on k20.org on the Facebook page um, to tell if these move, I have so much lube on them, so I don't know if my paint pen is going to work. But I'm going to mark these and hopefully I don't have to take this head off again unless. I'm really going all out or something and um, see if they move but uh, yeah so I'm just gonna grab a paint pen and just mark them um, but I hope I don't have to go back in this shit right now to be honest with you so yeah let's get started fam Yeah, have the lost motion install. You do not want to forget those if you're running your OEM VTEC setup. Um, I was running a uh, killer VTEC setup, so it wasn't necessary to have these. Um, now I'm going to run a bead of silicone right here. This is where the cam position sensor lives in number five um, cam holder. And um, yeah, I can go ahead and install the bottom half of the camshaft holder. Alright, so I have the circle on there. Uh, question for you guys. Do you know, do you guys have any method of trying to keep your Honda bomb from getting hard? So, because I always have to be digging at this side. I wish I came in like, in like a jar or something. Even if, so first I try to use the cap, okay? Punch a hole. After I get done, I try to put it up safe. But it gets hard, so now I have to punch it aside. You know what I'm saying? So I think, I, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or whatever. And keeping it from um, getting drying up. Uh, if you guys have any method, man, I surely appreciate it. I wish I had brought this thing in like a jar or something. So, I have it on the side now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and install the lower cam holder. Now these things have dowel pins so Um, as you guys just saw, I used a, a mallet the end of my hammer. I can't find my rubber mallet to save my fucking life. So I used the end of the, the mallet and just slightly tap it down so the dowel, the dowel pins will be engaged. Um, so if you want to, you can grab number one and number five cap and tighten it, tighten it down. Uh, I guess that will help. But this is what I did, how I did the first time. Um, so, I think I'm about to drain this oil. Um, I was planning on doing it anyways. This thing is so damn expensive, but I'm just gonna reuse. Um, everything's already oiled, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use some of I don't know how cold it's gonna get out tomorrow. This is gonna snow. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this engine in the car today. I'm hoping. But... So, go ahead and grab the cams. 
All right, guys. I have the motor. I have the pistons uh, off center on the bottom. So the time is off. I just do that. Um, nothing hits or anything like that. But um, yeah. So they're not centered, but I have them close to the top, so I don't have to do too much rotation. Too many rotations. So uh, I'll just go ahead and grab those cam holder Alright guys, so I have everything tightened now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and torque. Uh, just start inside out and everything's in the manual. Uh, these are tightened out at 16 and the two small ones outside, the 10 millimeters are 8.7. I'm gonna leave these two out. This is where the timing guide goes. Uh, I'm gonna install that after I get everything timed. So, yeah, go ahead and torque these down.